So, now let us see what is contact angle. So, suppose we have a liquid surface, a solid surface and we pour a drop of liquid, we have seen that it forms this type of meniscus and suppose another case we have also seen that it forms this type of shape. So, we have two different types of liquids placed on a solid surface. So, here you see just see the boundary of this this. So, you will have a circular boundary suppose. So, suppose I see this point. So, along this curve if I take a small length then here we will have a force in this direction and you can see this is solid one, this is solid, this is solid surface. So, this is solid, this is liquid and this is gas. So, gas this is liquid. So, inside this we, so the shape of this liquid surface is like this. So, here we have a force called this is the surface tension S for sol for the liquid and gas in contact. This is the surface tension S with solid and gas in contact and the surface here there is also a surface in which this solid and liquid is in contact. So, we define three type of surfaces here. One surface of the solid in contact with gas one sub surface of the solid in contact with liquid, one surface of the liquid in contact with gas. So, we have three surfaces and the angle it made makes this with this is theta. This theta is called contact angle. In this case you see this is the surface tension force S. So, the this is not the force, this is the surface tension force L g into L. If I want to denote it by a force, I have to use the length also. So, S into L is the total force. So, for this surface, the force will be here and the surface tension will be liquid and gas in contact. Here we will have surface tension S and solid and air gas is in contact and here we have surface tension of solid and liquid in contact. So, these are these force these are the surface tensions for that surface and these vectors are the forces. So, if I want to know what is the forces along the surface, so then I have to multiply with sub d l length. So, d l length. So, let us first define what is the contact angle. So, when when a liquid is in contact contact with the solid, then the angle, the tangent, tangent on the meniscus, meniscus makes with that with the direction the direction of the solid weighted with liquid is called contact angle, is called contact angle. So, you see here solid weighted with liquid is this. So, this is theta and here theta. So, in this case, the angle of contact, the angle of contact of contact in the left side case and is obtuse, obtuse in the right side case. So, here obtuse, here acute. This is what angle of contact mean. Now, consider a small element d l on the meniscus, 
meniscus of the liquid. Meniscus means the liquid where it is contact where where when it is in contact with the solid surface. So, here a small dl. So, here consider the small element the equilibrium the equilibrium of the element along the surface is. So, now you see I am talking the equilibrium of the forces along the surface not along the bulk. So, along the surface is S S G is here into D L that length because surface tension into length is the force. So, this force is here and here surface tension of solid in contact with liquid into D L plus surface tension of liquid in contact with G D L and its cos theta component. So, D L D L D L cancels out. So, we have S L G cos theta as surface tension of solid with contact with gas solid and liquid this implies cos theta is equal to surface tension of solid gas minus surface tension of solid liquid by surface tension of liquid gas. So, this is how we can define this cos theta that is the contact angle between a liquid and a sur solid surface.